Subscribe to get curried and click on the bell icon for more updates. While chicken fingers is a really great snack that you would probably eat a lot at home or outside, today I'm going to show you a really great, quick and easy variation of that recipe with fish. So we're making fish fingers. Let's get started with the recipe. You can use any fish that you like to make fish fingers as long as you get it cut in the fillet cut. What I've done after that is cut it up into strips like this and now I'm going to make a really delicious marinade for this fish. I'm going to start with adding some lemon juice. So this is going to be juice of one lemon. Quarter of a teaspoon of red chilli powder. Quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Quarter of a teaspoon of jeera or cumin powder. Quarter teaspoon of dried oregano. And now this one, garlic powder. You want to add a good amount, about three-fourths of a teaspoon. Last but very important, quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Just mix that together really well. Set this aside now to marinate for at least 10 to 20 minutes. Fish doesn't need too long. While the fish is marinating, I'm actually going to go ahead with the coating for it, for which I will need half a cup of all-purpose flour, one egg that's been beaten and about 3 4 cup of breadcrumbs. Now to this breadcrumb, I'm going to add some flavour. So I'm going to go in with about a quarter of a teaspoon of dried oregano quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper powder and a tiny pinch of salt, not too much. Just mix that together really well so that it's evenly distributed with the breadcrumbs. Now it's very simple, we just have to move the fish from the all-purpose flour, dip it, coat it really well, shake off the excess, Next, it goes in to the egg. And then into the breadcrumbs. And just continue doing this. It's oddly therapeutic. That's it. It's beautifully coated with the flour, egg and the breadcrumbs. At this point of time, I'm going to pop it into the fridge for about half an hour so that the coating sticks really well to the fish. Now, you can also put these into Ziploc bags and freeze them for about a month and fry them off whenever you're hungry. But I'm just going to go with the one hour option. It's been an hour, the oil has heated up and I'm now ready to fry off all the fish fingers. So that's what I'm going to start with. Fish fingers cook up a lot faster than chicken fingers. So just keep these moving in the hot oil and keep an eye on it for it to turn evenly golden brown on all sides. The first batch of fish fingers is nearly done. If you will see, this is a nice, even golden brown color that it's got on all sides, which is your visual cue to pull them out of the pan and drop them onto a paper towel to drain. Let's fry up the next batch now. All the fish fingers are really nicely fried and nice and hot. Let them cool slightly before you eat them.
Fish fingers are absolutely yum with either mayo, ketchup or mustard as a dip and these are great as an after school snack or when you're just chilling with your friends. So try this recipe really soon and subscribe to Get Curried for loads more.